wanted to get. I was, yeah. gonna, dude. I was going to save money for this thing, but we got into the drag racing. So that's that Traxxas UDR. I'm excited to see how big it is. Actually, I've seen videos of it. He's seen it at the store, but uh, it's a lot bigger than most of the things that we get. So this park shop in here, he, he got his own company, but he's got his own hideaway for all this stuff. But uh, yeah, we're excited to take a look at it. Uh -huh. See what we can do. Yeah, man. Let's see what's what here. Ain't been saving this thing for what? A couple weeks? A week and a half? A week and a half. It's been sitting here waiting to be open. There you go. We've been so busy drag racing, we have time to open the EDR. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he had an idea. I did that orange vet body. He was like, man, we need to get a trailer and tow your, tow your car in. Look at that guy. Holy moly. Beast, isn't it? Dude, the orange and white is awesome. Look at that guy. Oh, dude, that is awesome looking. Yeah, from what I heard, you got extra real working tires, drive shaft in the back. So these are different. You work on them from the underside. Okay. You don't pull the top and work on the top like we do all the other cars. You flip it over and you pretty much do everything from underneath. I got you. Okay. I didn't mess with it yet, but. <clears throat> so you got to do batteries, and everything from sold me on all the billet parts. Oh, so wow. all these are interchangeable. The arms, uh, they have shock caps that we're going to replace. So do you already get some of these parts? I've got about 15 parts for this thing that we're going to swap out. Okay, cool. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah, so we got the racing nets that go in the windows coming for it. Okay. They're here. All right. So I figured we at least powered up, see what it'll do, and then go through all the parts and shit. Very cool. And then the long arms, you said, did you get? So it has billet long arms. It's from Trax, and so they got all the different parts. Oh, well, all right. So true uh, park form. Just go ahead and get the upgrades while you get it. Might as well. So they give you... They don't give you, they sell you. Right. Upgraded arms. Fox, oh my God, those things are long. Fox metal shock caps. Okay. Cause it's got eight shocks, so you need eight of them. All right. We got the window nets. Nice. Differentials. There's the billet bars. Oh, cool, man. Other shock caps. So get rid of a lot of the plastic stuff. Essentially, yeah, you want to upgrade, you know, they put the crappiest stuff in there so, so you what's, can rebuild it. So what are these for the diffs? So this is the actual diff. Oh, gotcha. And that's the front and rear, uh, I think it was a drive shaft upgrade. Oh, yeah, 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 gotcha. The better dog bones. So we've got the rear billet arms, but we don't have the front ones. They were out of stock, so we're waiting for those to come in. Okay. So we've got everything else. And that's, that's pretty awesome. much all the upgrades. Uh, aside of a couple of just miscellaneous things you can do. See, that's what's fun about these, man. I mean, they're they're perfectly fine when they come. If you beat them up too hard, some of this stuff will probably break. But the next to the max, so you can get an idea what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Let's compare it to the max, man. That'd be really cool. Man, one thing I've heard about is all the travel on this thing. So the other thing, yeah, he's got the max. You saw a little video on that, but you cannot really. It doesn't compare on camera how big this Max is. Like, you stand next to it and it's insane. I know a lot of people have probably been around one. I mean, it doesn't have the wheelbase, like, outside, but body-wise, if you look at it over, over time. Yeah, let me come over the top of it. It's huge. Yeah, I mean, I'm used to my little one-tenth slash and everything. Golly, it is pretty big. When you take the wheels away, it's actually bigger overall. You know, yeah, yeah. Delete that. Yeah. I'll give you a good shot of it. Yeah, man. Here, pull that thing up and down to travel on it. Jeez! Golly, look at that. It's like a real desert runner. Almost like trophy truck, right? It's very scaled, man. It's it's very detailed and scaled the way it's built. And there, hold that up. Look at that, dual shocks. Okay, so that's why we have eight shock caps. And then this is a solid axle vehicle. So look at the solid axle. Nice. Four linked with a solid axle. Very cool, long trailing arms. And like you said, look, I think the battery tray and everything goes in from the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. That is awesome, man. You take the motor out from the bottom and everything. Okay, cool. Dude, that's awesome. Are you ready to run it, huh? Uh, at least let's turn it on and see what <laughs> turn it Turn it on and see what it does. Cool. Uh, we got a radio and I know we got some batteries here somewhere. All right. So is it uh, up to 6S on this one? Okay, so 6S. Like the Revo, the Revo out of the box, 6S. Oh, okay. So it's 
probably got the same uh, motor in here. See, look, he's all set up over here. He's got a drag deal set up. He's all quiet like me. We stay away from everybody else. Got my own little. Your own little my setup. Little RC Haven. That's what I'm talking about. Those are the old Onyx that I have too. Trash. Yeah, those. Cool. Yeah, he's got the E-Revo over here. Mm, just set it down. Is that that one? Oops, start labeling these things, huh? I got them all labeled except the new one. Oh, okay. So these come with the lights in them already? Oh, okay. So you got LED lights, huh? LED lights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, check it out. At night, they light up really cool. Nice. Let's see. And, oh, yeah, right up top here. I'm glad you went with the white and orange, man. That's sweet. Yeah, the black and red wasn't really my style. So black and red, blue and black. And we love this stuff. There we go. All right, so now check this out. Both batteries slide in, come through, and then it's just hard connectors into the vehicle. Oh, I heard about that. No pigtails. It's just hard, hard wired right there. That's legit. Pretty sweet, isn't it? It is. So they go side by side. Oh, I guess we have to lay them down. Lay them flat. Okay. There you go. Sweet. Yeah, it's gonna be a totally different driving style with this thing. This is just to go. Was he uh, Matt driving his around on the concrete? He did at the house, just kind of in the backyard on the concrete stuff. Yeah, it's definitely gonna have to be in the um, out in the dirt, grass, stuff like that. So in the stable, you got the X Max, you got the E Revo, the Drag Slash, and now the UDR. And I know you have some other ones at home. You have the old E Max. At home, we got the old Emacs, we got the old school Rustler. Yep. And uh, we got just the, the Slash Raptor. Oh, yeah, yeah. The old school Slash Raptor. Yep. Yep. Y'all, we're from Texas, so, I mean, Traxxas to the front. What are you going to do? We can literally drive to Traxxas in 15 minutes and pick up whatever we need. That's what I'm talking about. It's right down the road, guys. It's a pretty new showroom and everything, that facility out there, right? A couple of years or something? Yeah, it's not very old. They've just expanded it, though. It's a really cool store. You go in there pretty find anything you need. I still have not been because I'm, I don't know. I'm going to run out there. Okay, so our ESC is right there. Make sure we're getting this thing out. Here we go. There you go. Check out your lights. Fired it up. Oh, man. There we go. All right, we got steering. It's like a maybe an option switch for putting the lights on. I think the front one has a, a different switch. Man, it looks so good. That's all we drive to. Nice. Dude, that one is so cool. I like the orange. orange I do too. Pops. I do too, man. Orange and white's legit. Bloop, bloop. Look at that guy. This one looks a lot better than red or blue. That's a really good, really good Black look. has to be one of the best sponsors. Right. Right. Man, that thing's cool. It really is, man. This is, I gotta say, this is the most scale specific Traxxas I think I've ever seen. Look inside here, guys. You have two drivers. Look at this. You can change the driver's helmets out, I think. They <laughs> look at this. So, oh, there's a good shot of it right there. The nets we got will go in the windows. We call it the window net, side net. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That is sweet, y'all. That is a really cool setup. What happened? Got brakes. Oh my gosh, hold up. Brake lights. We got brake lights. I didn't even notice that. Hold up. We got brake lights. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty cool. That is really neat. Good job, Traxxas. 
Good job. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun with this one. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back at y'all later. Uh, find a nice dirt field or something. Do a little running video of it. Let me get my little camera and uh, suction cup it on or something or Velcro it on. That'd be cool. Go pro it. Yeah, that'd be sweet.